Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I'm going to show you how I make Sri Lankan chili powder. Chili powder is a staple in the cooking that I grew up eating, the cooking that my mom and dad made, traditional Tamil food. And if you live near a Sri Lankan grocery store, you can buy it pre-made in a packet. Much of it comes from Sri Lanka, but they're making it all over the world. Today, I'm going to show you how I like to make it at home. It's not very difficult, and you can adjust the proportions of the spices to your liking, which is an advantage of making it yourself. Over the course of this YouTube channel, I would love to be able to show you how I make many of the dishes that I love eating. So much of the food that I love is Tamil food, which you can't really get around New York City. The only way that you can get it is making it yourself, which is why I cook it often here at home. To make that food, many of the dishes call for this chili powder. So that's what we're doing today. We're making one of the staple ingredients in Tamil cooking, chili powder. Sri Lankan chili powder is a proportion of various spices to actual chilies. The chilies that are used are these dried red chilies. And the proportions are basically equal parts chilies to coriander seeds. So the major flavor is coriander and chili. And then there are other spices in here to a lesser degree. Uh, fennel, cumin, black pepper and fenugreek, turmeric, turmeric powder, and then something that's sometimes a little hard to find, curry leaves. These are, cur these are fresh curry leaves. You can get them dry and this is a little tricky to find. This is in Sri Lanka what we call rampe, rampe, but uh, they're commonly known as pandan leaves. It's it's um, screw pine. It's a it's a tropical plant, and the leaves they're very fragrant. They have a beautiful, rich, sweet smell. Um, if you can't find rampe or pandan leaves, you can leave them out. You can just use curry leaves. Really, you can make this chili powder without these two ingredients. This does add an element to it that makes it truly authentic. But if you don't have access to this, you can make the chili powder just with these. So you've gathered your ingredients, you've measured them out. I'm gonna make it easy for you and put out the recipe for this chili powder in the write-up of this video. The next step is to toast the spices. Toasting the chilies until they become fragrant and change color slightly. You don't want to burn them, you don't want them to turn black, but they will darken slightly. You can see here. And I'm just going to take these out of here and put them in something else. And now, into this hot pan, we put the coriander. Fennel, pepper, and the fenugreek. But we don't put the cumin in at this stage because the cumin is so small and fine that it will burn and, or it'll toast too much. So we toast this stuff until it starts to become fragrant. And when you begin to smell it, then add the cumin and continue to roast it a little. Again, you want to you want to make this fragrant. You don't want it to burn because if it burns at all, it will really affect the flavor of the chili powder. We're just roasting this stuff brings out the the height of the flavor of the spice. Okay, at this point, I can smell that coriander, so I'm going to add cumin and mix this in. Now the cumin's in there, and the cumin's getting roasted as well. The pepper that's in here is very sentimental. When I was in Sri Lanka about four years ago with my uncle, we visited a relative, an auntie, that has a spice farm. 
and she gave me pepper that she grew on her farm. I don't know if any of you know how pepper grows. It, it grows as a vine. It's a creeper and the vine grows up the trunks of trees and then they, they flower. It's like a flower on a frond with many little flowers and then the flowers turn into sort of bean pods like, like coffee beans. They're red when they're ripe. And inside that is the peppercorn. So when I was leaving, she said that she was trying to raise money for one of the people that worked on the farm so that the, one of the workers could build a house. And she asked us if we would contribute. And I made a contribution and in return got pepper. So this is very sentimental black pepper from Sri Lanka. It has very subtly changed color, and I can smell it. So I'm gonna take this and add this to the chilies. Yep. Okay, and the last thing that I'm gonna toast into this pan are those leaves. If you put these leaves in with the chilies, they won't really, they won't come into contact with the pan as well. And if you put them in with the spices, they get lost and they interfere with the spices touching the pan. So you wanna put them in on their own and toast them. Next is grinding this into a powder, but you want this to fully cool before you grind it. If you grind this now, you risk steam going into the chili powder and caking it up and making it gross. So this has to fully cool before you grind it into a powder. The spices I have toasted have all cooled completely, and now I'm ready to grind them into a powder. Spice grinder. Spice grinder, coffee grinder, same thing, except you don't want to use it for both. If you start grinding spices in one of these, designate it solely for spices, if you start grinding coffee in one of them, that's the coffee grinder. Uh, you don't want to be going back and forth between these two things. So this is my little spice grinder. It's small, it's compact, and it doesn't accommodate all of this stuff. So I do it in sections, and because I'm doing it in sections, it's not going to be an even mix of chilies and spice in each grinding. What I'm going to do is grind it, and then put it all into a separate container and then mix the powder at the end with the turmeric mixed in. So, I use my hands. Be very, very careful if you start handling chilies with your hands, don't touch your face, don't touch your eyes. And maybe too much information, don't touch your private parts. <laughs> they, can, they can feel <laughs> they can feel heat. Trust me, I know. Don't ask how. <laughs> you want to grind it into as fine a powder as possible. That's good. It smells really, really good. There. So that, that is what it'll look like. And it'll be varying shades of ready orange based on how many chilies go in here. But I'm just gonna keep going and adding it to this. So I've ground up all the chilies and the spices, and now I'm gonna add the turmeric powder to the mix. Get it all in there. Mix, mix, mix. Because I ground this in batches, the proportions are different in each batch that I ground, so I, I'm making sure that I mix this really well. There. 
this is a very distinct powder. It's a it's very distinctly northern Sri Lankan chili powder from Jaffna. It's Jaffna style chili powder, which is a predominantly Tamil part of Sri Lanka. This is used in a lot of meat curries. It's used in certain vegetable curries like an eggplant curry or an okra curry. It makes the curry dark brown and rich and hot. It's, it's a very hot powder because of all those chilies in there. Okay, that's nicely mixed. The last thing I do is add, I add the pandan and the curry leaves. The rampe and the curry leaves. Those go in. They're, they're, they're dried now because they sat in the pan and cooled in the pan. And this gets mixed up. And then this, all of this, goes into a nice, sterilized, airtight container. Close it up. And that is going to be used for the most delicious Tamil food that you've ever tasted. A thing of beauty. Makes me happy seeing this. Sri Lankan chili powder. What do you think? You think you'd like to learn how to make this and try it yourself? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it one of these. If you didn't, you can give it one of these. That's fine. But either way, I hope you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to make videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.